guys, what's up? It's Mr. G here. Today we are back on the Minecraft server. And today, uh, as you can probably tell by looking around, a lot of things have changed. I have actually put in a roof to um, this big platform. And the reason I did this is not because I'm going to be making a huge area, but instead because I have decided to indeed make a gigantic UFO. So, that will be something that I will be doing over time off camera. Um, perhaps over time you will, you'll be able to see it. And when I finally finish it, I will show you the finished product clearly from the ground in up top. Um, but that brings me to something that I wanted to do. Um, when looking at this, I think UFO, what, what would UFO kind of just say? And typically you think UFO, you think invading. So what I want to do is I want to make a kind of, uh, I guess... UFO invasion, alien invasion type of uh, look at my base. So underneath of this base, um, if, if I get the chance, probably should find a way back down. Um, I would like to put a big village um, slash town of some sense. Perhaps even a castle and uh, churches and, and like a bunch of houses and stuff like that. Maybe uh, some sort of little village area, a little farm. Things that look really cool. Um, that would look really, really great underneath of an evasion. Maybe in kind of an, in a medieval type of look is what I'm looking for. Um, so I planned on setting up some sort of competition for you guys. And whoever um, does best on particular things... I will uh, bring into the server if you guys would like, and uh, you can help me build it, which would be really cool. Um, so I'm probably going to set up a little side server for a little bit um, for everyone to join in and do whatever, and then we'll have little competitions in creative, and then we will build it here in survival. Now, next up, I built two more of these farms. This one's the wheat farm. That's the one with the guy in it. But for some odd reason, my sign vanished. Just now vanished. Just now notice that. So anyways, I'm going to have a carrot farm and a uh, potato farm. And the goal is to throw uh, a villager in here with so many carrots in his inventory you can't pick any more up. Same thing with the potato. Um, although it does cost a lot of potatoes and a lot of carrots, in the long run it pays off. And um, I can just turn this on. He'll, he'll do his wheat, he'll do his carrots, and he'll do his potatoes. But I don't have anyone in the carrot or potato farm yet. Um, next thing that I did off camera, as you can see, you can see this little entrance area. I really, really like this. I want to make it a little bit bigger, though. For some odd reason, I, I take damage there. I don't know why that is. This is the nether side. Um, so I had Mary join me. Um, number one fan, Mary. She actually helped me out with the, um, actual, uh, skyscraper itself. Not skyscraper, the, uh... Why was it a skyscraper? Spaceship. Spaceship itself. Um, so she was helping me get the stone and get everything set up. And she was helping me out with a bunch of other things. She actually built this glass panel wall, which was really cool. And this is what I made while off camera. Now, I would have done this on camera, but my voice was not feeling up to it. Um, I had just been outside, and it was probably 20 degrees out, and my throat was uh, getting sore from the amount of cold getting into my lungs. So, no, I'm not sick. I just got to the point where I couldn't really talk very well without straining my throat. So I decided to just build this off camera, and this is an AFK um, fishing hut thing. Um, you, can look, you can look these up online, and they're pretty easy to build. They have step-by-step step, step step ones, and I'm not exactly sure who came up with this one because the video I saw was a fix to a video that someone else did. I don't know if they did it to someone else or whatever or not, but I believe I got mine from an Exuma. I'm not sure if that's the correct name. Got some in my eye, but I'm pretty sure that is right. Anyways, from down here, you can see the UFO in work. It's going to be about that wide. I have like a little wide area, and then I'm going to kind of turn it into like a plate on top of a plate looking um, shape. And that'll be my big UFO. Then I want to have kind of a village in this general area. Now, the next thing I wanted to do while I was here... I don't think I have anything in here. No, I don't. Next thing I want to do while I was here... Actually, I'll show you one last thing that I was working on. I'm going to put a door here so that I can get in and out. I'm going to put a metal door, though, so nothing can get in that I don't want in. 
because those are always a pain in the butt when they, when they decide they want to visit and you say no. So, anywho, I got to go over here. And it's somewhere around here. Why is there a random grass piece? Huh. This is the weirdest thing. All right, right here. I grabbed that uh, spider farm. Um, I also did this while I was unable to talk as well. And I went down here and I built a spider farm. So the spider spawner turned into a spider farm and it's really great. All I have is two cactus, uh, a chest here, and a bunch of hoppers. And then I have water pushing in together and water pushing through. It's really self-explained. I didn't feel like it was really worth um, doing a video on, so I just did it while I was off camera. Now I have 17 string, which will help me a lot when it comes to string, but even more so when it comes to wool, because I do like using a lot of wool in my builds, especially for things that, um, okay, no one around here, good. I'll take the rest of my stuff. Especially for things that uh, are automa automated, I like to color them a certain color so that I know what they are. Like for instance, red ones are wool things that will kill. Or, uh, or a killing landing pad or something like that. Some, something in relation to killing. And then I think I'd use purple for just kind of uh, regular things that'll be moved a lot and other things like that. And you have some really nice shiny pants. Can I have your pants? What? Why did you make that sound? Oh, I know why you would make that sound. Huh? That was an odd sound. It sounded like he was like, on fire and then stepped into water. I'm not entirely sure. Speaking of water, though, now that I think about it, I also have these really cool boots called Frost Walker uh, Feather Falling Boots. I actually got uh, three uh, Fra Frost Walker Feather Falling and Unbreaking. And I think there was another one in there. Um, all in one book while I was AFK farming, which is really, really cool. Uh, AFK fishing. Um, so look at this. It makes ice. I can just walk and it makes ice. I can walk across an ocean. Just <laughs> don't even have to worry about things. And then uh, since there's sunlight out here, it'll just automatically um, turn back into water, which is really cool. So at some point, I do want to make some sort of automated ice making machine. And I thought I had to make it up there and I was going to make it up there. But since I have ice boots... I could have something that launched me in the air and I'd land, since I have feather falling, it wouldn't have any damage on me. Like a, like a slime block, which then again, it wouldn't have any damage anyway. And I could just make an awesome freezing thing. So a freezing uh, machine of some sense so that I would have free stuff as far as free ice. So that's something I'm really excited about. And let's see, I need that. And uh, get me some cobblestone. Once again, I'm going to fix that up. But today, what I wanted to do is I want to go back into the nether, and I, I come in here, and yes, the nether looks really, really awesome, because it does look like the nether indeed, because of the red and stuff like that, but something I wanted to do personally is I wanted to make it look more like um, my personal little small world area, I guess. I don't really know if that's right, the correct terminology. But what I want to do is I want to clear out this whole area and put down some half slabs. So one, things won't spawn in here. And for two, so that it kind of looks nicer because I don't really like the, the look of hell as much as um, everything else. I think it would look really cool if like I had a little base inside of hell somewhere. It didn't really look like it belonged in there. It just was kind of... A way for me to get around. So that being said, I'm gonna go over and get me some some stone slabs. Yeah, I'll do that. But first, I probably should put in more cobblestone because cobblestone needs to be smelted. Why do I have sand in there? I don't really know. And turn that into stone because I am sure to run out of stone at some point here. Okay, well, I will be right back with these stone slabs, and I will go back into the nether, and I will be pretty much done when I, when I come back. Anyways, BRB. All right. I think we are good to go. And now, last but not least, I need to get some sort of leaves to put in here. Actually, whoa, I just missed this whole part. 
Well, I'm glad I looked in here. Otherwise, I would have been like, whoa, wh what happened here? Okay. I think that's all. That's everything, right? Should be everything. Okay. Unfortunately, I can't get water. I think it'd be really cool to have water streaming down, but in the nether, there's no water, so... Uh, <laughs> you know. It is what it is. We'll deal with it in good time. But, for right now, we need to go out and get some leaves, which I can get with some iron. I can hardly even see that. It's like really hard to see shears. Okay, what else do I need out the side of shears? Something I did want to check is I have a huge list. Of, so here's all the bows I've been getting from my AFK fishing. Um, there's a lot of really good ones in here and those are regular bows. This is a fish. And here's the fishing rods. And I actually have three of them. They're really, really good. It's Lure 3, Luck of the Sea 3, Unbreaking 3, and Mending. I made all three of these. They all have the same thing on them. Which is really cool. I just combined a few of them and it was golden. Good to go. Alright, so what I needed though was shears. And I wanted to see if I had any silk touch. Eh, no. Feather Falling 4. Ooh. Silk Touch. Ooh, that would be great. What should I put that on? Should I put that on a pickaxe or a shovel? I feel like a pickaxe would probably be the best one for it. Um, And then I would bring up the efficiency to 5. There's an efficiency 4. I'm breaking. I have 14 levels on me. Let's see here. Silk touch efficiency unbreaking. And then I'm gonna need mending. Yes. Uh mending will probably be the last one I use because Mending's freaking awesome. <laughs> to say that absolutely least. It's extremely awesome. It's like it makes life so easy with mending. Alright, so I actually remembered to put down iron. It looks really cool on stone uh, stone slabs. So yay. There, now I have a way back in, but nothing else can get in unless they figure out how to toggle a switch. Then we'll have some pretty big issues. But nonetheless, we are back with spruce saplings and a bunch of bone nails. So now, I should be able to take advantage of this. Um, find a location that won't get me... I don't think I have any issues if I plant them right here. But we'll see, I guess. Um, I'm gonna put my stone axe there. Whoa, okay. So, break says me, thank you. I'm not actually after the wood. Uh, well... I guess it's not a bad idea because I do have more uh, of this stuff. Oh, I do need the wood now that I think about it because I need, yeah, I need more spruce saplings. That's what I really need is just more saplings so that I can run up there and just deforest the thing. But, yeah. So, I'll let this keep dropping and then we will grab more saplings. Right here. I can do this, right? Aha! That's what I was more after. Okay, so I need sand to get up here. Um. Now, if I do this right, I should be able to climb. I like it, but I can still see the stuff behind it. So, I don't know how good that actually is. And this particular texture pack, it looks interesting. It almost looks like vines or something growing from the wall. Yeah, I think it looks all right. It looks kind of like a uh, underground type of palace type of thing. 
Yeah, this is definitely an interesting look, though. I've never... I mean, like, it actually, like, shows... All the, I like the texture pack, how it, like, it adds little things. So, like, the hitbox is way back in there, but, like, you can still see it right here. Which is really kind of cool. So, yeah. I think that was good. Well, all right then. It looks like I have just done, I've done just about everything I can here. I've been on for about an hour. I may, I may do a little bit more later, but in the next episode, I need to find a new place to put a little base. And the reason I want to put a little base outside of this uh, awesome mothership is because I feel like an underground base would be really cool. And I like making an underground base a lot. The only downside to it is that you can't really make bob spawners underground. So it really won't be much of a factor as much as it will be kind of a really cool looking base. So that is something to look forward to in the future. Um, and definitely uh, show up for the live stream this Sunday because I have a plans. I have plans to start building a, uh, I guess... A village underneath of this or something I want I want to make it look really cool I want to make it look like this is like an alien invasion so if any everyone anyone ever walks by it's like <gasps> aliens oh they're attacking the village and then it's like oh no that, that's just wow that's a really cool base you know that's what I, that's what I would prefer people think think when they see it but you know it'll take work so uh, show up to that and um, who knows? Maybe you can help me build some of the, the uh, buildings down there. But I'll see you next one. So, bye-bye. <laughs> oh, wait. Leave a double thumbs up. Don't forget that part. Okay, now bye. <laughs>